The only about in art. Art is about freedom. He is irresponsible. Unobligated kingdoms without counsel. That's by me. Uh, that's the first poem I'll read you tonight. There are others, so um, hold tight, if you would, please. Inspiration. Um, that's the title of this talk. Um, so, I guess, thank you, Linda, first of all, first and foremost, uh, for inviting me, and all of you for being here. So, thank you very much. Um, Balance. Um, my concern is one of content. Uh, let me back up here. Balance 2006 to 2022 is how long it took to write this one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so let me set this over 16 here. 16 years, that Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's been updated several times. Several times. Um, that's the truth. <laughs> My concern is one of content, not of aesthetics, not of painting, and not of poetry alone. We are more than bodies, just as all beings and things are more than surface appearances. When I paint and write, I do so not to achieve a look, but to recognize myself as a person like all persons, a human being rich with feeling whose mind and expression extends beyond topical ideas and beyond myself. My trust is in the receiver to experience the content of my work, not to understand it wholly and factually. I believe we all experience the meaning of life, meaning of life and art the same. But hold on. The difference is our interpretation. That's my belief. Hence, the appearance of difference between my paintings and writing is entirely superficial in my mind. Thank you. The function of content, the same. I present to you is the same. I present to you a singular expression. A questioning life. The painter accepts blindness to feel what is with him, not in front of him. Without a look to guide him, discoveries are made possible. All that he sees are the inner workings of his own mind, of his mind, revealed one by one in time, with each painting a find, each piece left behind. Answers are unacceptable to living artists. Questions are unacceptable to the dead. For inquisition slows the stead of a dying man. Man, I wish we had copies of that to read on. I'll, I'll provide that. Okay. I can, email, I can shoot you an email with a PDF. Okay. Yeah. Cool. The poetry is dense um, in this talk. That's why I'm, you know, I let you. After each one, my, it was my intention to let you think a little bit, but to go on. Uh, I find it impossible. Um, are you okay, everybody? Mm -hmm. Can I move forward with the, you, you can. With, yeah. with, with the paragraph here? Thank you. <clears throat> I find it impossible to differentiate between art and life on most days, most of the time. My father is a professional painter, as you all know. And my mother taught, well, I hope so, as you might not know, but he is. Um, my father is that, uh, my mother where, hmm, taught primary education in schools. Um, she cultivated highly hands-on and creative classrooms. My father is that rare and special type of artist always interested in others' art and our family life. Both of my parents' interests carried over into family life to a large extent, informing my sensibilities early on. I'm gonna move ahead in the talk. That pretty much covers that. Um, 
Emotion and painting. My emotions are with me now. In time, I've taught them how. How to stay by my side. From them, I no longer hide. I like to watch them as they slide, to use them as my guide. Recently, I've been thinking of the experience of balance in painting and in life. Well, I often think of it with regard to life as a totality. I often find myself and have found friends in former years using the word balance to, to describe a condition of life we all would like to build and maintain. In my mind, other words spring forth, such as comfort and happiness as well. What these words have in common is the representation of states of being, comfort and happiness, that happen to us without notice in life and indicate some sort of emotional contentment. You must remember, without notice, when we're unaware, uh, as I was when I wrote this. Remember, it comes back to the artist being blind at times. <laughs> so, it's the truth, um, at times, to me. Um, we scramble around, confused and scattered, doing this and that, perfecting and organizing all things meaningful and ridiculous in our lives, in hope of ending up in hopes of ending up within some glorious balanced state of easy thinking and clear direction, when all of a sudden, without warning, we happen upon a fleeting moment of utter fulfillment. Metaphysical poem to Emily Dickinson. Hardly amused, not sure what to draw, Sat confused, so I drew what I saw. In this I found my start, 26 years to find my heart. Two parts lament, two parts the lark. No longer a look, quote unquote, to guide my art. These moments are often so minuscule that all we know of time by way of clocks and stopwatches, wouldn't have a prayer in recording their laps. Regardless, seconds and minutes don't enter into this kind of experience. Without walking, I go everywhere. Studio time is the name of this poem. Oh, the moments when I am at home. Every sound and sight and focus, I have to turn the page here. Every tone. These sacred moments, sacred moments, are simply my own. Oh, how I travel distances, sitting alone. These moments are not learned and don't involve the intellect to me but exist as emotional responses to life without definitive reason. They are personal experiences in time that we are briefly, briefly conscious of and sustain us within our subconscious for longer periods, much longer periods until our next inspiration. Barnett Newman spoke similarly when he insisted on his physical sensory experiences in time, except they are more than that, as he alluded to in his own work. They affect the mind and senses, informing all emotional and intellectual aspects of conscious reality. Once they occur, The physical sensation of time to Barnett Newman. I'm going to skip that one. What I'm extending to you here has forever been humanly understood 
and penetrates all people of the present, never mind class and race or whatever variety of mental disorders and physical ailments one could think or have, in my opinion. In my opinion. Is not every person as mentally stimulated and handicapped as the next? I'll move on to the next poem. The only about in art. Could you reread that? Just yes. That? Yes, I, yes, yes. About it applying to everybody about art. Um, the poem or the, par the, 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 last, or the last paragraph there? The last I, paragraph. Okay. What I'm extending to you here has forever been humanly understood and penetrates all people of the present. Penetrates, so, you know, is pervasive to thought and to mind. Um, so, it penetrates all people of the present. Never mind class and race. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. Um, Tolstoy said that yeah. true art is understood by everyone. You know, it, that everybody very, gets very. It. It's not just for the elite. Okay. I'm so sorry. that's reassurance. Okay. That's good. It's not every, you know. All right. Oh, here comes There's your pizza. <laughs> Right. For you too. Oh my goodness, I had a meal. Thank you. Uh, thank I wanted you guys. to be prepared. He's already started, so come on in. Sit down. I'll invite you. Thank you. I feel like we've met. Have yeah. we have have we I had your class. Yes. Good, good, good. Are you so you're finished with school? Yes. For now? For now. Okay. <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, it's been years, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, my hair is a little longer now. <laughs> Mine is too. My, my physique, everything's changed. Age does it to a person, so whatever, you know. It is what it is. Uh, I'll, I'll, move, I'll move forward. Uh, acceptance is the title of this poem, as I wipe the sweat from my brow. Um... The way we paint, the way we write, no such wrongs, no such rights. The way we see, the way we be, tells tomorrow of eternity. Major philosophies ancient as Lao Tzu, current as Slava, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher this name, Slavaj Zizek, who I've read somewhat, or Dan Marshall, who lives here in town, have contemplated their impact on man. This is what I paint about. Not about philosophy, but about all of those indiscernible moments that refute fact-based knowledge in life. If I have learned anything in life from every painting and experience, every theory, or book, poem or philosophy, or instructor, it is this. My duty as an artist and painter is to simplify the disharmony of life into my tiny, tiny, tiny expression by way of brushwork and taped off shape into something inspired so that one can rest with joy upon viewing it. This piece is titled Freedom Cage. So I think once you move around the shape. Would you repeat that please, the title? Which would Freedom Cage? Cage. That's correct. Okay. So would you like me to cover that part first? <laughs> They're not detached, you know. Um, one in the same. So within the mind, it is my understanding that that's what we have. So I titled this one Freedom Page. Uh, it's both at once. You have outlets 
in a painting. But not in the way you might think you have outlets. My initial description of the painting that I was going to mention was that you start here, you follow around, and then you're, you're, you're up and down this thing, right? And then maybe you escape through here, right? Which lets you out onto the floor so you can walk off and, and, <laughs> and, and, and discover the world for yourself. And, uh, but actually, in my experience just now, I viewed it another way. I started somewhere around in here when I looked up, and I was let go, perhaps ascended, for the lack of a better, I'll leave it at that, term, because words can only do so much. Um, I left the painting here. So, um, I think physically we're involved. Um, mentally, of course, we're engaged. Uh, but not forcefully when we look at paintings. No matter what they are. I think art is art. And it's been said before that abstraction is just free and this is the other side of it. This, this, not the other side, I don't, I don't mean to put it that way. Another way to look at it is this way. <clears throat> Which moves, I'm skipping over a lot of my talk, but without reading verbatim, what I can say is this. Um, well, I'll get back to the talk. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that's okay. Uh, the Timeless Massacre of Intuition, you all is the title of this poem. The heart must be a quiet thing. Today it goes unheard. Perhaps it is that deathly scream doling its loudest word. But logic is cutting the infants to hear hearts throaty end. Reason is sipping their innocence. Hearts notes now seldom bend. That's my philosophy, if I had one. Could you read that sentence one more time? Yes. That's how I read it, yeah. <coughs> the timeless massacre of intuition. The heart must be a quiet thing. Today, it goes unheard. <coughs> Pardon me. Perhaps it is that deathly scream doling that's loudest word. Logic is cutting the infants to hear heart's throaty end. Reason is sipping their innocence. Heart's notes now seldom bend. Computers, you all, they're built of ones and zeros. Is, am I correct there? Binary code, right. Cartesian thought. So, there you have left, right, in, out, up, down, etc., all that stuff. So, working a cash register is one thing, being an artist is a different thing. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um, you know, uh, of course, I must mention here. No, I won't. <laughs> I mean, we, we don't always do everything in the world for free, but, but you can't get, get along making artwork, especially if you're getting paid all the time. That's my point at times. I have other points to make too, but um, for the world, I would say that's a big one. For this room, and everybody in it, including Eve's, um, Eve, um, I won't, you know. I don't have a grand point here tonight. I just wanted to perform, you know, and, and, and kind of do my thing. Um, so, you know, I had, 
I, I brought other artworks, colorful pieces, you know. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I made the choice to cut those off in the end. Uh, this is where I'm at now. This painting was designed in 2006. So you're looking, keep that in mind, you know, you're looking at a piece that was made back then. Hasn't changed much, you know, outside of like a couple of tiny abrasions that I don't even know if the camera will pick up, you know. Um, go ahead, Eve. But that can be painted, o painted out, you know, painted over. Painted over, I should say. Um, because, you know, after all, it's not a very... I mean, it's me who made it, but really, is it that difficult of a painting to make, you think? I mean, in your mind? A little bit of labor. I mean, it took a long time to get there, right? To, 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 I mean, I had to go through two, three schools, including a gap between, well, three schools, and this was my first summer outside of school, my schooling. So this was my final statement, my thesis, ultimately, of graduate school in New York. Um, so, you know, I was fortunate. I was lucky, rather. I was lucky enough. I don't even know if I was lucky. You know, I mean, I was tortured in a lot of ways. Um, I wanted to escape, you know, which ended up being an arrival. Um, I went there and I came back okay. Um, but I had to seek counseling and mentally, I was unstable throughout that transition. That's what I mean. But I was okay. Through, you know, I mean, I, I mean, I was, I was edgy. But you know, <laughs> I mean, I was edgy. It was, it was, it was difficult. Um, but I came out on the other end, and uh, now I'm making art daily. I, I, you know, I wake up, I have my coffee. I, uh, you know, go to the studio. And, um, some days I eat w with my coffee. You know, some days I have food. <laughs> uh, so that that I think that's about it for tonight. That's 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 where I, that's. Oh oh oh! I did have one last. Okay. If you all don't mind, I will tie things up with this one final piece. Um, it's a poem. I would like to end there. Okay as I stand in front of my painting. <laughs> Eve. Newness. This is titled Newness. All that will ever be new was old. For the luster of gold, I, I, I would like to read this to you all because I think it's quite essential uh, for this moment in time. Newness. All that will ever be new was old, for the luster of gold would never seem bold if it were not mined from the folds of past days. Everything the same in time, all that is dirty will be shined. Thank you. Thank you all. Oh, thank you. Can we ask you questions? Yeah, and then, you know, I, I, I always forget that part. Thank you for reminding me. So I'm going to put down the So notes. graduate school was such a difficult time that you have to go to You're counseling right. when you got... Uh, I wouldn't, yeah. You know, I mean, I, 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 think, I think it was trying, you know. I mean, I had an agreement with my... I had an agreement with Sanford Warmfeld, the head of Hunter College at painting, Hunter College's painting department, Hunter College at that time, City University of New York. I, that's, that's my thesis instructor uh, reminding me <laughs> in my mind. Always pronounce it, Damon. Hunter College, comma, City University of New York. Uh, 
So it was trying, but I had an agreement, a pact, uh -huh. with with Sandy Wormfell, was his name, is his name, I should say. Still, on occasion, reach out to him. Um, well, that I could work in my studio in Brooklyn and make, you know, and 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 I was the only one, to my knowledge, who did that. And, yeah, I mean, it was, it was kind of a wonderful proposition to, to have, to have performed within, um, that set of, I had to be, I had to be on time and two classes, which I wasn't, that's why, so, I missed, I missed one test. I, I missed I missed test day in his class, mm. his color theory class, of all things. Mm. And uh, he was pissed. I mean, I don't think he was. He was upset. Pardon my, pardon me for saying pissed, Sandy. If you watch this ever, um, he was great. He was great to me. Um, that's why I did it. You know. So. But we're kind of it's asking all, you personal yeah, things. Yeah, that's the last part of being an artist. I mean, I, th I think my <laughs> life's on the table. You know, I mean, that, that's how it is half the time mm -hmm. in my world. And I think other people who deal, you know, with mental illness, mental disturbances, I think it's healthy in a setting like this, a constructive one, to be honest. You know, um, I do too. I heard that, Katie. Yeah, I mean, I you know, nightly, nine p.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, all of us, you know, we, you know, some earlier than others, reach an age where that happens, and, and uh, you know, I mean, it's it's just that. How many artists? Happiness have reaches you in time, I think. Yeah, there's a little bit. The how, 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 I'm sorry. I said, I gonna ask. lots of artists suffer from anxiety and depression. Like, yeah, you know, I did, I yeah. have, if, if I may, um, I'll address that head on. Um, the, the, there's a portion in my notes um, for this talk that I... I discarded in the beginning out of safety, but now that it's come up, um, I think I'll read to you this paragraph. Okay. Um, mentally, we are connected. Physically, we are connected spiritually too. But that's not all. There is more. When we get down to work, it shows. Exhibitions happen serendipitously in this manner of speaking. I'll get to it. Uh, the show is still run by men in most places, but with that there is hope. There is hope. I know there is. Deep inside. I listen to Sirius Radio, and th this goes on a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm thanking you. Uh, um, I would thank Miss Ginny Ellescu, who's the host of this show that I listen to all the time on Sirius Radio. It's a great uh, Channel 35. I'll do a little plug for it. <laughs> Station 35 on Sirius Radio. She does it way, way better than I ever could. Uh, she's incredible. Uh, she plays female vocalists, which I like. Uh, musicians, I should say. Musicians. Lyricists. I gravitate towards good songwriting. Um, it just happens that my favorite right now is Big Thief and has been for, and has been, you know. Uh, I, so, one minute. 
depression, anxiety, all of these things play a role in lifestyles in the studio, right? So, I mean, you will have noticed about this when it is depraving to getting work done. But you must work, because that's the only way. In my book. The work doesn't make itself, and the inspirations, well, won't happen. At this time, I would like to explain that this is the end of my talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was really getting into it. Thank you. Hey, I, I do it that way because I had, I, I, I had, I could, I could, I could feel Eve's presence dropping on me. Here. I think I'm going over time, but I'm not sure. And with you all, for oh, sure. The room, you know. Did anybody I mean, else have a question, or yeah, you just I, like, when did you get that? Was it before so this was two, or after graduation. This was after. 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 Okay. Correct. Yes. So. Uh, you know what's interesting about the question is my thinking is tied to before, but physically, the object, and maybe it all comes back to that, was created, was made rather, post-schooling. Well, you named it Freedom. Yes. And you're talking about how... Freedom Cage. Yeah, right. But you're talking about <laughs> how you were kind of bound up by your, your uh, schooling. It's... You know, you were, you were... I think you're right. I think you're right. You're perfect. you're perfect. You're yeah. perfect. And I'm just seeing on. this painting. I see you, it too. Yeah, yes. I, where you have a small a busy thing mind. trying to find, get out, escape. Yeah, yeah. You, you've worked your way down, and now you're out, and, and, right, small, and away you go. Yeah, into, a little small yeah. opening. Yeah. You made into it. orbit. Yeah. 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 And, you, and you were bound by <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I can really see that. I can too. Nice piece. Thank you. Yeah. It says a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we want you to get pizza and visit with us. Okay, okay.